Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is September 17th, and the title of today's devotional is, Is There Good in Temptation? No temptation has overcome you, but such is common to mankind, 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. Chambers begins with, The word temptation has come to mean something bad to us today, but we tend to use the word in the wrong way. Temptation itself is not the sin. It is something we are bound to face simply by virtue of being human. Scripture teaches that Christ was tempted in all ways, yet without sin. The sin is not in the temptation. Chambers continues, not to be tempted would mean that we were already so shameful that we would be beneath contempt. He, can, he speaks of being without morals or shame, the one who feels no restraint to do whatever they please. As for the Christian, uh, yet many of us suffer from temptations we should never have to suffer simply because we have refused to allow God to lift us to a higher level where we would face temptations of another kind. Here O.C. speaks of renouncing sin, particularly the acts which we well, or rather, which are common to lost humanity. To be lifted higher raises the level of type sin we face. Instead of the sin of looking at pornography, it is the sin of wasting time on trivial matters on the computer that tempts us. Chambers speaks of the human nature of the Christian. A person's inner nature, what he possesses in the inner spiritual part of his being, determines what he is tempted by on the outside. The temptation fits the true nature of the person being tempted and reveals the possibilities of his nature. This should prove frightening for some. The type temptations you are facing speak of your inner nature. It defines the, it defines the level of Christian maturity that you have achieved. What you are still capable of doing is seen in your temptations. This is why I'm such an advocate against TV, movies, and most music, uh, due to the seeds it plants in your brain, in your imagination, the desires it creates within an individual, that from which we should flee. Those suggestions should seem or, or should be abhorrent to, the, to God's child. Chambers says every person actually determines or sets the level of his own temptation because temptation will come to him in accordance with the level of his controlling inner nature. You determine the level of temptation that enters you by where you place yourself in life and society. How much do you control your environment? Do you seek to distance yourself from sin? Read closely to keep up now with O.C. Temptation comes to me suggesting a possible shortcut to the realization of the highest goal. It does not direct me toward what I understand to be evil, but toward what I understand to be good. O.C. says we are tempted to achieve a desire we have through means that don't originate in God. We imagine the outcome to be good, favorable, therefore justifying the steps we take to achieve the outcome. Our behavior has a larger goal in mind that is greater in nature than the mere acts we perform. If we steal, the greater goal is to get rich. If we cheat, it is to have do uh, dominance and power. Temptations do not stand alone. They are connected to a greater goal you have that you actually view as being good. Temptations offer me steps in achieving my greater good as I see it. The Christian is offered the opportunity to not sin. That is the true goal of temptation. It warns us. It gives the opportunity to not yield to certain behavior. Chambers says temptation is something that confuses me for a while and I don't know whether something is right or wrong. When I yield to it, I have made lust a God and the temptation itself becomes the proof that it was only my own fear that prevented me from falling into the sin earlier. Fear is what keeps us in check, fear of God, but most often the fear of getting caught and the consequences it will bring. Closing out, Dr. C says, temptation is not something we can escape. In fact, it is essential in the well-rounded life of a person. Beware of thinking that you are tempted as no one else 
What you go through is the common inheritance of the human race, not something that no one else has ever before endured. God does not save us from temptations. He sustains us in the midst of them. Thanks for being here today. And now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for his highest. Have a good day and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks now. Bye.